Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to do a factory reset on your iPhone 13 mini, which will delete all of your information from your phone, completely wipe it out, and put it back to the factory default. Now, this method will delete all of your apps, your photos, videos, everything that you had on your phone. Now, if you backed it up to your computer already through iTunes, or if you already have backed it up uh, to your iCloud device, in your iCloud and you sign into another device, it will stay on that, but it will just delete it locally off of this phone. Now, this is something you want to do, especially if you're getting rid of the phone, giving it away, or trading it in. This is to ensure that all of your data is completely gone. So we do a factory reset. Now, to do a factory reset, before you proceed, make sure that you back up your data through iTunes or iCloud and before you proceed, because once you do this, it is not reversible, meaning you will not be able to recover any of your data off the phone. So to do that, once you know for sure, you're good to proceed, you wanna go into settings. Once you go into settings, you wanna to go to general, and then go all the way down here. You'll notice here there's an option for transfer or reset phone. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now the option we wanna select is erase all content and setting. Again, all content and setting, once you click on that, it will pop up with the menu. This time it'll say you're gonna be erasing this much of data. Currently you might be signed into the phone's iCloud account, which we'll need to turn off before we can actually erase it, which will show you how to do that, and then do the factory reset. We're gonna hit continue here. Now, as you can see, it's gonna be uploading some data that you might already have to ensure that if you have iCloud turned on, it's gonna make sure it does a backup, or you can simply skip the backup. Don't skip this because you wanna make sure that everything that you have on your phone, if, you have, if you're using iCloud, it's actually backed up so that when you sign into another device with the same account, that information is available there. We're just gonna skip it just for the video. Now, what's gonna happen, it's gonna show you email address for the Apple ID and you need to enter the passcode, password for that ID. You can always reset it if you forgot. So we're gonna enter that password for our demo ID here that we have. Now once you have entered that, you wanna go ahead and hit that turn off and it might say invalid, so you might have to try it one more time. Once you have done that, you wanna hit that turn off and then what's gonna happen is when you do that, it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna erase it? And you wanna click on erase, and then it will start the erase process. Uh, sometimes what might happen when you try to turn off that iCloud or sign out, it might also ask you to send a code, two-factor code if you had set that up to your phone number or another device that you're signed in. So that might be another additional step, which again, might or might not be applicable for you, but that's something to note. So you wanna wait till this completes thoroughly and you get to the hello screen on iOS 15, which right now this phone is on iOS 15, the latest software, and that's when you have fully completed a reset of your iPhone factory, delete everything, and now you're gonna be able to give it away, sell it, uh, trade it in, do whatever with it, and none of your information will be available on that phone any longer. As you'll see, this might take a little bit longer if you have a lot more data compared to maybe if you don't have much data. All depends on how much it has to go ahead, go through deletion process. Again, this is the Apple recommended way to factory reset your phone whenever you want to make sure everything is deleted and gone. So that's going to be pretty straight and simple for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys uh, next time. And just before we go, this is what's going to happen. Once you factory reset your phone, you'll notice it's right at the setup screen.